Wuhan is the largest city, the economic and cultural center in the middle of China. It is also the transportation hub of China in the era of high-speed train and connects to the world by 64 direct international and regional air routes. You can sum it up by looking at the spelling of his name. W is for water. Wuhan is a beautiful city born of water, with the nickname the City of Rivers because the Yangtze and the Han rivers meet here. The Yangtze River is the third longest river in the world, and it nourishes our land, breeds the residents, and develops the civilization in Wuhan. There are 12 bridges across the Yangtze River in Wuhan. The city is also noted for its hundreds of lakes. Water makes up one quarter of its territory. U is for university. With a university student population of 1.3 million, yes, you heard that right, 1.3 million students, Wuhan is the largest college town in the world. China University of Drill Sciences is one of the seven national universities in Wuhan and a leading institution of drill science education and research in the world. This university has been offering the earliest and best quality doctor, master, and bachelor programs in hydrogeology in China since 1952. H is for high technology, optical fiber, biotech, lasers, smartphones. They are all developed in Wuhan. The city is a high-tech hub and home to legions of top firms, such as Pfizer, Microsoft, Huawei, and Xiaomi. A is for automobile. Wuhan is one of China's motor cities. One out of every ten of the vehicles on the road in China is made here. General Motors, Honda, PSA Group, and Dongfeng all have advanced manufacturing plants in Wuhan. N is for noodle, the hot dry noodle soaked in sesame paste, known by the locals as Re Gan Mian, are as much a trademark of Wuhan as spaghetti is in Rome or hamburgers in the US. Yummy food comes with natural and cultural attractions. The Yellow Crane Tower, built 1,800 years ago, is the landmark in Wuhan and one of the best ancient architectures in China. The Marquis Yi Chime Bells, known as the King of the Bells, is a unique Chinese ancient instrument which was made in 433 BC. It was used to play melodious tunes for festivals and great ceremonies in ancient times and are now preserved in the Hubei Provincial Museum. East Lake is the largest natural lake in Chinese cities. You can climb the Mo Shan Hill, boat on the East Lake, and walk along the East Lake Greenway. The Wuhan East Lake Hotel is situated on the bank of the beautiful East Lake. Many heads of state and government officials have stayed at East Lake Hotel. The hotel has around 400 lake view guest rooms and 34 restaurants including banquet hall, western food restaurant, and cafe that can simultaneously host 1,600 people. The hotel has more than 20 well-equipped conference halls of different sizes, and the biggest one can accommodate 1,000 people. Moreover, Eastley Hotel has entertainment facilities, gym, chess room, swimming pool, and cafeteria. The theme of the 40 Lines IAH Congress is groundwater sustainability and poverty reduction. Poverty reduction is a top priority for most countries in the world. Unfortunately, most of the poor countries and regions have been faced with serious problems of water scarcity and contamination. It is the mission and ultimate responsibility 
of the international community of hydrogeologists to help the people get access to sustainable, safe supply of fresh groundwater. With your active participation to share your ideas, experiences, and knowledge, I believe this Congress in China will be a great success. See you next year in Wuhan.